now look at the question this is about good governance they are telling when the question is on good governance with the entry of good governance the discipline has shed its statist character A lot of people mean statist means what statist character in the sense greater role of state is compromised is diminished that is the demand statist character means means government should do everything that idea is gone fine state status does not mean status quo here statist means what strong state I am the only one monopoly that all concept is gone that is what you call it as good governance I mean with this again when you say good governance you do not have to two aspects one of course you have to refer to what world bank idea two you can also refer to what network governance idea so then you tell today's state is not the only actor everybody whatever you told now how should you introduce now because the question clearly they are telling you about good governance in intro what you should write about good governance it evolved with you know that world banks 1989 report on whom the idea evolved the idea of good governance was given by world bank first in its 1989 report on sub-saharan africa fine and it was defined in which one it was defined by world bank in its 1992 report called as governance and development 1992 report called as governance and development so first given in 1989 report on sub-saharan africa but defined in 1992 report of world uh, governance and development and what is the definition go back to the core how is it defined as world bank defines it as world bank defines good governance as what effective utilization of world bank defines it as effective utilization of the resources world bank defines it as effective utilization of the resources effective utilization of the resources to achieve to achieve the larger public interest effective utilization of the resources allocation of the resources in or to achieve the larger public interest right and what did it tell it as world bank has identified the components of good governance what all transparency accountability uh, what else rule of law justice delivery so many things etc were all identified as the components of good governance fine because of this what happened first of all these idea itself compromised the strong state statist character these components compromise the strong state idea big state idea because they wanted you to become more transparent more accountable greater role for private sector these ideas itself compromise the strong state or statist character of state fine gradually who started to play a greater role private sector started to play a greater role this is also reflected in india's lpg reforms private sector started to play a greater role it is reflected in even india's lpg reforms fine now that itself took another turn which is called as what gradually the idea of network governance evolved and the moment i have already told you multiple times by now either you write this or just now you wrote that write this because only one chapter ideas keep yeah just now you wrote all these things fine state private civil society state private civil society state private civil society fine so obviously what has changed status character is no longer relevant you have to work with with whom with other actors when you write that you explain few points about ppp few points about civil society there you can write something about ngo something about shg all these aspects you write so the status character is no longer true and you can also encourage 
how decentralization has increased. If you want Indian example, you write which one? 73rd, 74th link to that. Right? So explain that. If you keep on explaining one or two lines of each and everything, that's what how the status character is gone. Fine. If you want again, even in NWS approach, which focused, even in NWS approach, the traditional Weberian statist approach is discarded. What they are telling? They are telling we should have more citizen orientation. You should encourage people's participation. You should encourage tra transparency and accountability. So the traditional statist character is gone. Means strong state, I will do everything, hierarchy, centralization, I will take the decision, all that era is gone. Fine, you should have to collaborate, you should work together. Fine, and as that is how you have to. Now, at the end, what you can tell, as identified by Nicholas Henry, today's governance is what? Institutional and networked. That should be your conclusion. Please write the conclusion. As identified by Nicholas Henry, today's governance is as identified by Nicholas Henry, today's governance is institutional and networked. Institutional and networked. Today, public administration means management of public affairs. Public administration means management of public affairs management of public affairs fine and what state is no longer the only important actor it is still the most i am not telling but uh, it is not the only one state is no longer the only important actor what is it it is the linking pin which should collaborate with It is a linking pin which should collaborate with, with international organizations, private sectors, civil society, people, local bodies, everybody. <coughs>